Hi, Hiram here. The last couple of days I've been getting comments and messages about the uh, test that I've been doing with this Vargo Titanium Pot. One of them was Nathan Shepard had said, just a question, but why do you use a pot stand like the Wind West Wind when you know that the design is flawed? It's a pot stand you use in most of your tests. Uh, when I first bought this, I thought this would be a really cool pot stand. I mean, it, it just looked like it would be neat. But it turned out that you saw in the past videos that I have to turn it upside down, and then it's not flawed anymore. It works pretty good. Of course, your Trangia burner is sitting on the surface, but during the summer and times like that, summer and fall, it doesn't really matter so much. In the winter, when there's cold ground, cold snow and stuff, I always make myself one of these. It's just a piece of uh, corrugated cardboard with that aluminum tape on it. I carry this, weighs practically nothing. Weighs practically nothing, but it reflects the heat up and it also insulates it from the burner from the ground. So I use this one. Uh, I have another pot stand. This is the Mini Trangia. Works pretty nice. A little expensive, but works nice. And I have this one. It's just the stand that holds the Trangia. I don't know what the name of this thing was. It just said uh, Alox, A L O C S uh, burner. The problem with this one is you need a pretty big pot to fit on this. So I don't use this too much. Oh, actually, I have another pot stand that I use with a Trangia. You may have seen this in an old one. Three 16 penny nails that I just put down in the Trangia itself, and this acts as a pot stand. I don't get to use the simmering, but it works as a pot stand. Uh, Nathan Shepard had also added that. Uh, surely you should use one that's a great design. If you want a similar pot stand that works well, look at the Trangia Triangle. Uh, out of all my burners, it's the fastest with the Trangia burner. I don't have one of those, but I did look into it on the internet. Just for comparison, the West Wind burner, I picked this because it seemed that a lot, a lot of people use this stand. And it's also relatively cheap. I've seen this on eBay without the burner for $13.50 plus shipping. I mean, that's pretty cheap. On the other hand, the Triangle Trangia stove, the cheapest I saw on that was $30 plus shipping and handling on eBay. So just for price-wise, the West Wind is cheaper. Also, when it comes to weight, the West Wind only weighs 80.8 .8 grams or 2.85 ounces. One of the eBay ads said, told me, or said rather, that the Trangia Triangle weighs 115 grams. So that's like what? 30 some grams heavier than this. So even with weight wise, I don't know. This takes apart. Goes, comes apart rather, stacks up real nice and neat. It's just that you have to use it upside down from what they say. Okay, another comment that I got was from, and I don't know how to say this, Suisuf, S-W-E-S-U-F. He said, uh, while you tested two setups, I think one more plausible is missing. Out in the wild, I would not put the pot on a flat stone unless I wanted it to cool off. Rather, Suisuf said, rather I would either just snuff out the burner and leave the pot on the stand, or I would get two thumb thick, boy, try saying, thumb thick twigs, try saying that fast three times, or three stones, and just put those the pot on those minimal contact. So I wonder if you would, would if the final temperature would be what the final temperature would be if you just left the pot in the air. So I thought that's what I'd do today with this one. Here I've got the water, it's up to 213 degrees. I'm going to put out 
the flame and then just put the pot back on the stand and let it sit for 30 minutes and see what this comes out like. So let me just take this off, drop that on there, put the pot back. Oh, I also had people asking me, is there a pot handle for this pot? Just like the GSI comes with this type of a little pot handle. As far as I know, I haven't seen a pot handle for this. You just got to pick it up with, I, use, I always use gloves. I take these with me all the time. So I use these for picking up things. Oops. So, let's let this go. Room temperature right now is 60 degrees. Relative humidity is 57. It's raining outside. And we'll come back in 30 minutes and see where the temperature is. And there we are at 30 minutes, and the temperature is 132, 132 degrees Fahrenheit. So that comes out to, in this arrangement, where I just put the pot right back onto the stove after I blew out the uh, Trangia. In 30 minutes, it went from 212 to uh, 132 degrees. Now when I did the test with the pot cozy on it, remember this one? This is a pot cozy I made up for this titanium pot. When that was on there, in 30 minutes, the temperature got down to 170. So that's like a 40 degree uh, temperature difference there between the air, cool, and the cozy. As far as room temperature, the temperature today is 59 degrees. The temperature when I did it with the pot cozy was 63. So that's only about a 4 degree difference. I really don't think that would change it that much. So I thank Suisuf, uh, S W E S U F. I'll put it right down here. His name or her name. Anyway. Uh, I thank you for the suggestion, but I think I'll go with the pot cozy. Even if I had put it on something like this, the corrugated cardboard with the silver tape on it, I think it would have dropped more temperature than it did in the pot cozy. And I've used these out in the snow and stuff, and it's worked pretty good. So, I thank... Jeez, it's for that suggestion. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, your questions, your remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Oh, by the way, you may have noticed that this is a different format. I'm trying a different video editor so that I can get the full screen on the uh, videotapes. So again, thank you for watching. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end